So today I'm going to groom my new puppy, Jasper, and he is seven months old. He's a Yorkie, and I'm going to be giving him his first bath with me. I've never groomed him before, and I'm not sure how his grooming behavior was before me. But if I was starting with a puppy, teaching them how to be groomed step by step, I'm going to show you the steps that I would go through. The first thing is I want to keep it very calm and I want to keep him safe. So as you can see, he's very uncertain about what's going on. He's never been in the sink before. He's never had me groom him before, so he's kind of trying to figure out what's going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a safety harness so he can't jump out of the sink. It also makes them feel safer during the grooming. So I put this underneath his little legs. It fits very similar to a, I guess you could say, a parachute. And so it goes underneath his little legs to make him feel safe, okay? I'm just gonna give him some love and affection, make him feel relaxed, and let him know that it's gonna be okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get him used to having his teeth brushed. So even though he's young and he still has some baby teeth, I wanna get him used to having his mouth touched. I wanted him to get used to me cleaning his teeth at a very young age, right? So I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit of toothpaste. Good boy. And it doesn't matter how long you do it to get him used to it. You just see, he's not used to it. Good boy. The goal is just for him to get used to the sensation, right? So we just wanna do a little bit. Good boy. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take his top knots out. Because if you just pull them out, that's painful. So we want to cut them out. Okay, so we got his top knot on. Good job. Good job. Two products I'm using is, this is Pride and Groom Sensitive One. It's just, it's for puppies. Um, adults too, but it's safe for puppies. And then the final coat. And both of these I will dilute. So I've diluted the shampoo. See, now they might try to crawl out of the sink. It's okay. Keep it very positive. Good boy. When they're just a puppy, they are scared, of, and this is safe for their eyes. They're scared of the sounds. They're scared of being restrained. They're scared of everything. Unless, unless the breeder has spent a significant amount of time training them, most breeders are pretty busy. They don't have a lot of time to train them. So even though they might take really good care of them, they don't have the time that we have when there are pets. So you have to be understanding that the dog probably doesn't have a ton of training for being groomed and whatnot. It's just a skill for them to be groomed, just like teaching them any kind of tricks or behavioral patterns. It's a skill that they have to learn and they learn through repetition. So the more you groom them, the easier it gets. I usually groom my dogs once a week, so it doesn't take long for them to start to understand what's expected of them. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. What a good boy. Lots of praise. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah, what a good boy. Jasper's a good boy. Good boy. I think 
what I use is a little flea comb to get the little eye boogers out. He's actually doing really well. Good job, Jasper. Good boy. If you were going to clean the ears, you can do that in the sink as well. They usually like the attention. So he's getting attention, which makes him feel very safe and happy. And what he doesn't realize is I'm actually training him in the process for this to be a positive experience. So I spend the time just giving him a little bit of love and affection so that it becomes a positive reinforcement thing instead of me forcing the dog to do what I want them to do becomes a positive thing. It becomes a bonding experience for me and the dog. And usually I use the sprayer, but because he's already stressed, I'm just using this little container to rinse and shampoo him and stuff, just to keep things on the light side for him. Good boy, you're doing such a good job. Yes, what a good boy. Gotta clean those ears. Good boy. Oh, he's doing so good. What a good boy. Good boy. Just teeny, just teeny tiny. Look at his little paws. Make sure you clean the belly. Good job, Jasper. Good job. And if you're doing the anal glands, you can do that now. So now I'm rinsing all the shampoo out, and you want to make sure you get all the shampoo out. Shampoo left in the coat will cause them to be itchy, it will cause matting, so you just want to make sure you get all the shampoo out. I think he likes his bath, don't you Jasper? If they're wiggling, you can hold your hand right on the leash right here and hold them underneath. Kind of use your index finger and your thumb to hold their shoulders. Stay. Good boy. Next, I'm going to use just a tiny bit of conditioner. His coat's not very long, and he honestly doesn't need much conditioner. So the conditioner I'm using is Final Coat. I'm just using it to prevent matting and also um, condition the skin. So it has a lot of great ingredients that are gonna help condition the skin. See, their attention span and their likability of bathing, it's kind of an acquired, it's a behavior that they learn through repetition. So it's perfectly normal that he's sick of it already. He's done. He's given me about, what, five minutes, and he's ready to be done with this. Okay, so I got him all rinsed out, got his coat rinsed, and now we're going to move over to the grooming table. We'll see you there. We got Jasper all bathed, okay? And at this point, I let him sit in the towel for a few minutes, and I just used the towel to dry him a little bit, right? You don't want to aggressively rub the coat because you'll give him mats. But I want the coat to be able to dry a little bit within the towel. The towel helped to wick away the moisture. And that cuts down drying time and stress on the dog. Okay? The leave-in conditioner that I might have to use 
is the Pride and Grow and Leave-In. Really good conditioner, very light. No, it doesn't leave the coat greasy. So I have my stand dryer. I'm going to use it on low and low heat. And again, I'm using my harness to keep him safe while he's being groomed. So with him being in the harness, on the grooming table, I'm going to keep this as low stress for him as possible because this is his first experience with me. And so I want to keep it very positive. I let him lay down. I'm going to give him a lot of praise. And uh, to make him enjoy the experience. When the puppy's young and they're new at being groomed, you want to keep it as relaxing as you can for them, especially in the first couple months of learning to be groomed. Um, and so I like to use a boar bristle brush. It's very gentle. And for the body, um, sometimes I'll use a pin brush, but if they're very sensitive, then I just use a boar bristle brush, okay? And especially on the head and the face, just to keep things relaxed for them, okay? So let's get started. So we got Jasper all cleaned up and his first bath and blow dry went beautifully. As you can see, he's not unhappy. He's happy and relaxed. He's literally sleepy. So this is considered a success. His grooming went very, very well. He's not stressed out. He looks beautiful. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Good job, Jasper. Good job. 